You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he says nobody should be wearing a loose fitting denture. We're talking about dental implants today. With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. Doreen Agarwal. Dr. Agarwal, welcome to the program. Thank you. So for people that don't know your practice, I mean, who's the typical implant patient that, that you see that comes in for dental implants? So we have two categories of patients. One is uh, patients who have really bad teeth, who have um, a badly decayed teeth, hot and cold sensitivity, flared out teeth, bad breath, you know, who are heading towards dentures, but do not want dentures. They want something fixed which doesn't come in and out, or they can get snapping dentures which are attached to dental implants so they can eat hard food. And the second category are patients who already have dentures and who have to use adhesives to keep the dentures in. Now you say it's tough to get these denture wearers in and you can almost help these people the most. Yes. Elaborate so, on that. So, let, Randy, the patients who have already wearing the dentures, they're out of the system. They don't go to the dentist unless uh, they have a, uh, the sore spot or the dentures are loose. So they go to the dentist after five or seven or eight years of wearing the denture. So they are at the dentist, they don't like the cost, they don't want to be there, they are upset, they don't want to pay for the reline, and. On top of it, they don't know their options. They don't know that they can get dental implants and they can attach it in place, secure it with dental implants with, so they don't have to use the adhesive anymore. So okay. they're out of now, the system. Now I know it's not a recognized specialty, being a dental implant dentist, right? But this is your focus. I mean, this is pretty much what you do every day when you're in the office? Yes. Is that right? Yes. I've dedicated my life to, uh, uh, after graduating dental school towards dental implants. Uh, I've taken over 500 hours of CE courses. I've continuing been, education. Continuing education courses and implants. And I've gone to Dominican Republic where we well, do you travel life. all over the world to learn this. Yes. Is there that much to it? Yes, it, it, it involves quite a bit. It, uh, you have to take the theory courses, then you have to go treat life patients and learn, take uh, experience of placing implants, and then you come and do those procedures in your, uh, on your own patients in your private practice. So there is a lot of legwork which goes behind before you do dental implants and start doing them in your practice. Uh, because dental schools, they don't train you for dental implants. So you have to learn focus afterwards. afterwards. You have to dedicate okay. yourself. Now, um, in your area, I guess you call it the villages, is that right? Yes. Uh, so in and around the villages, or let's say within 100 miles of the villages, are there a lot of people with like an upper or lower denture? So let me put this in perspective for you, Randy. We have Disneyland near Orlando. We can fill Disneyland 10 times with the people who are missing six or more than six teeth, or they are wearing an upper or lower denture. Now, the problem with the dentures is they are not attached to anything. Okay. Right? So they move all over the place. They can't eat hard stuff. These patients are very secure, uh, very insecure about uh, the look, about the denture falling out, about going out with their friends. So the newest trend in dentistry is to attach these dentures and secure in place with dental implants. Okay. So if you're wearing a denture, you could get a snap in, snap out set of teeth. You yes. You can eat whatever you want. Is that right? Or permanent teeth that don't come out. Yes, you have both so those the, are the two options. Those are the two options and, and we give both the options in our practice. So many places, they don't offer the patient the option. They only offer the fixed teeth, which are- That's fixed expen- teeth that don't come in and out. They don't come in and out. Okay. So that, that is expensive. We also offer the patient the lesser expensive option, which is almost half the cost of fixed teeth, which is snap in, snap out dentures. Which is and they e- like those. They love those. Patients love those. Uh, it's it's half the cost. It's easy to take in and out. It's easy to maintain. So it works really well for the patients who can't afford the fixed teeth. So that is an affordable option for the patients uh, who have dentures and want something which is more more secure in their mouth, so uh, so they can uh, they can function better. Now we you know before we started, you showed me a video of how easy it is. And I've yes. actually never seen a person just putting it in their mouth and then locking those teeth in. You say you play that video on Facebook. Yes. Things like that. So a lot of patients respond to that. Yes, a ton of patients. Patients love that. The patients who, especially it, 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 uh, the patients who have dentures, who have the lower dentures or upper dentures and don't stay in place and they have to use a ton of adhesive. Now adhesives. Uh, adhesive, we're talking yeah. about, okay. So adhesives, the, the patients, it's a billion dollar industry. So, so it, it, the patients who have dentures, if they want the denture to function, they, if they want to eat with it, they want to, uh, 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 for the denture to stay in place, they have to use the adhesive. So what the, the, the snapping dentures do is we put two to four dental implants on the bottom, four to six on the top, and we click them on onto the 
uh, implant so it stays in place. It doesn't move, it doesn't rock, and patients can eat hard food. They can eat salad, they can eat corn on the cob, they can eat apple, they can eat uh, back of the ribs, they can eat a lot nice. of stuff which they've not been able to eat for a long, long time. Now we, you know, we talked in the green room briefly about that, you know, you do some advertising. Yes. And even though they've looked at your ads and they've read all about you, they've seen your online reviews, which are good, by the way. And people need to know, I'm not trying to endorse you. I'm just asking the question. But they still come in skeptical. Like, are you sure, doctor, that I can do this or I'm not too old? Things like that. Randy, now, age is relative. Patient who is 70, 80, 90 year old, they still have to chew, eat, and smile. Right? Okay. They're not going to eat. They're not going to drink food all day. They're not going to put the f food in a mixer and blend it and drink it. Right? They got still got to eat. And and a lot of these older patients, they think that they're too old to get this done. But how old can you be to you, get this? You can be 80 years old. You can be 90 years old. You can be 100 years old. Majority Why would a 90 year old want to do this? Because as I said, they still have to eat, chew, and smile. Okay. Okay. They have Good a point. social life. Uh, let's say if you're in a care facility, right? You have family members who are visiting you. You have grandkids who are visiting you. They're bringing food to you, right? You can't eat those food if you're wearing dentures. Your, okay. your quality of life is compromised. Okay, but I gotta ask you, if dental implants are so good for the denture wearers, and if there's so many out there, why aren't they all doing this? So let me tell you, there are, there are a few reasons why they don't do this. Number one, if you're already a denture wearer, you're out of the system. You don't go to the dentist, right? Unless something bothers you, there is a sore spot, the dentures lose, you go to a dentist to get it relined. So that is five, seven years down the line after you already got the denture. You're, now you're at the dentist, you're upset, you're upset about the cost of the reline, and on top of it, you don't know your options. You don't know your options. So they just don't know their they options. They just don't know their options because they're out of the system, they've not been to the dentist. Okay. Now, number two is, let me put you in perspective, a life of a denture wearer. Now, if you already have dentures, and you all you got your teeth removed, the, the, your life before getting the dentures was very difficult. It was 15, 20 years of multiple 30, 40, 50 visits to the dentist. Hot and cold sensitivity, bad teeth, bad smell, uh, loose teeth, flaring teeth out, going to okay. the specialist, nickeling and diming. You know, it, 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 it was, you got frustrated over the period of 15, 20 years. So when for those people, when the teeth are out, they are relieved. Done. So the, the last dentist, thing they want to do is see yes. you. The last thing they want to see do is uh, see a dentist. They, they, even though they hate the dentures, even though they hate the dentures the first week, the, it's covering the roof of the mouth, it's humans, they adapt, they get over with, they don't want to see the dentist. So they don't know their options either. But you say those are the people that you could help the most. Those are like the people. Like it's the happiest group of people. Absolutely. Those are the people who can come to me, I can put dental implants in there, secure the teeth in place, and bring their, uh, improve the quality of life. They can. Now we should mention, dental implants are not covered by Medicare, Medicaid, even the best dental insurance only covers a very small part. So what's what's the answer? Financing. A lot of patients, they Are use- Are they financing this? Yes, a lot of patients finance. We offer financing for up to 90 months and a lot of patients use that. It's a, it's a great way to get the teeth you want, the, the, the services you want, and uh, the financing can from go from 0% to 17% uh, based on your credit rating. You now, do so, so you're not carrying it. I mean, you're going to lenders that lend on dental procedures. Yes, we okay, have three good. different lenders we work with, and but you do need to have decent credit to get approved. Okay. Uh, a credit rating about a 550 and above will almost pretty much get you qualified for financing. And, okay, and we have three different lenders, so you have the options to pick and choose from. And, and it works to fit your budget. And then sometimes you can just do the top, sometimes you can do the bottom, sometimes you can do top bottom to see how much uh, uh, financing you have available to get this done. Now you say a lot of people think they're too old. Comes up all the time? <laughs> yes, all the time. My practice is in the villages and uh, all my patients are 65 and above. And, and, and as I mentioned before, Age should not be a factor. Like I said, old people still need to eat, chew, and smile. And I have a ton of patients who have an active, retired life. They live in the villages so they can play golf. Yeah, because 80 is young today, ball. right? They, 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 they are dating at 80. They are on Match.com, right? So, so they still want to go out and have a good time. And dentures is limiting. Dentures is limiting from uh, getting the best out of the retired life. People save up up until retirement so they can have a happy retirement. And when their dentures is holding them back. It's holding them back from going out, eating with their friends. When they go to a restaurant, they make a reason not to go hang out with their friends. So, they, or if they go out, they look at the menu to see what they can eat in front of their friends without getting embarrassed. These all factors, old people need implants more 
than anyone else. It, it, it should not be a limiting factor. The other reason is, okay. the other reason is they self-diagnose. They think they don't have enough bone. They think they have osteoporosis. Yeah, but isn't it true? I mean, if somebody's been wearing a denture like uh, 20 years, 10 years, they don't have enough bone to do this. It's not true anymore because, because now we have 3D technology. We can see, take a scan, see how much bone they have. Also, we have bone building materials. It can be a little bit longer, a little bit more difficult, but it is possible. Most of my patients who come to my practice, we can do at least two to four dental implants to secure the denture in place or give them a fixed set of teeth. Uh, my oldest patient is 96 years old, Dave Henderson. He'll see a test. I'll show you a testimonial. He's 96 okay. years old, and he, he 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 said he feels young again. He feels like a 16 year so old. So what? Now. He had a denture before? Or he just... had a full denture before, and he was upset of it. He could not eat food. He could not taste food. So so when you have denture, right? It covers your palate, so you can't taste your food, you cannot taste the spices, right? And it's not as functional as natural, so you cannot eat salad. So when he got that, now he's able to eat the and food. 96 years old. 96 you had to be old. a little nervous putting implants in on this guy. Were you a little bit? Uh, I was actually more excited to see a 96 year old have a fixed set of teeth and be able to chew and function the way he wanted to at that okay, age. Okay, good. So it was actually very fulfilling for me to do a case like that on a 96 year old. So uh, Dave, 96 year old, he comes to my practice on the day of his, uh, 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 comes up in my practice with this denture and then walks out with final teeth. And when he looks at the mirror, a tear came out. He was so happy, he was aesthetic. And for him, we actually had an apple in our office so he can try to eat and bite really? into it because he was afraid that the teeth might break because he had a denture for such a long time. And when he bite, bit into the apple, he saw the functionality of the tooth. He was over the moon to get it done. So Dave, he came to me with the denture, and he had the denture for 12 years. When he walked out of my office, he had fixed teeth, which doesn't come in and out. And when he looked at the when he looked at the mirror, he had a tear falling out of his eye. And we had an apple for him to bite into because he loved apples. Okay. And when he bit into the apple. He was ecstatic, he was over the moon, because now he could eat something which he enjoyed for, uh, with his teeth before he had the dentures. Now he can go back to his life. So he lost 12 good years of his life. So he's wearing a denture for 12 years. 12 years, he lost good, good years of his life, and that's what he was upset about. He's like, I wish I had done this 12 years ago, and I would have, because he, he likes to travel, he likes to go out, he likes, he still golfs, he, he plays a lot of golf, so he, he didn't go out with his friends after the golf game to have a good meal or uh, to just socialize. And, and, and he, that's what was holding him back, his denture. And now the, the, for the rest of his life, for 10, 15, 20 years of his lifespan, whichever is remaining, he has fixed it in his mouth and he can go back to his normal life. And then let me tell you another story of okay. Anthony. So Anthony, a great guy, he's from New York. He, 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 I bought up existing practice a couple of years ago. So Anthony was a, pra a patient of a practice, he had a partial, he had a partial denture and he would come every a year or two, a teeth would come out of the partial, a natural teeth would come out, would add a teeth and then he would leave. And then once he came to my practice, I, I was the guy who did implants. So I, I told Anthony, Anthony, you know, you know you have options. We can give you fixed teeth and which would snap in, or, or we can give you a snap in, snap out denture, which would function better than this partial. And he's 75 year old and he's like, no doc, uh, I don't want to go through this. I said like, Anthony, for how long have you been wearing this denture? He said, 22 years. So he was wearing wow. the partial for 22 years, which is not functional. I finished- Fun Not functional meaning he can't eat the foods he wants yes. to eat. So okay. he could not eat the teeth which he wants. Uh, he could not eat the food which he wants. He could not eat a sandwich, he could not eat corn on the cob, he could not eat apple. For uh, not everyone it's apple. Some people like to eat salads, some people like to eat sal uh, salad with cucumbers, you know, so it's different. So he wanted, he was not able to eat the food he liked. Okay. So when he came to my practice, I gave him the option of doing implants. He was not sold on the idea of doing implants. Okay. So he still signed up for it, we did the implants. He decided to do a brand new set of teeth on the upper. So we, we started the process, we finished the process, and he came to me, so he, he's a snowbird. He lives in Florida six months, he goes to New York. So before he went to New York, I delivered his a, a new set of teeth for the upper, and then he, I, I, I like to see the patients for a follow-up after a few months, see how they're doing, okay. if there are any issues. So after he came back from New York, I, I saw Anthony and I said like, how do you feel about it? And he's like, I wish I had done this 20 years ago. 
now because I have a fixed set of teeth, I can golf better, I can bowl better, I can eat better, I can talk with my friends, my life is so much better. And now good. he's lost 20 years of his life, of good life, of life which he could have done. Is that the challenge? I mean, getting people to do it, because men, right? They put it off, we put it off until, like I think you told me on the phone, they're in so much pain they finally come to the dentist. The, the pa patients don't like the dentist. Let me put this on. Do you hear that, by the way? They say no offense, That's the doctor. First, the first thing they say, they, we, we don't like, no offense, I don't like the dentist. That's okay. But this is, this is what you're doing for yourself, not for the dentist. There are, there are medications. The there are medications where we can control. Uh, there, are, uh, we can control the pain, which is there is minimal pain after the procedure, right? But it's all worth it at the end. It is going to make. So let me tell you this: if you don't like something about yourself, okay, you're holding yourself back. If you don't like your nose, you're holding yourself. If you walk into a room, you you feel like everyone's looking at your nose. Yeah. So you don't socialize y yourself. You hold yourself back, right? Uh, same thing with the teeth. If you don't like your teeth. You are hormonal, you're angry, you're depressed. Or people right? at least think you yeah. are because you're hiding yeah. your yeah. smile. Yeah, you're hiding your teeth, yeah. So when you get a, a smile you like, when you get the teeth you like, then an uh, inner smile comes out, an uh, inner personality comes out. Nice. You, you socialize more, you talk to people more, you go out more. So This is what the patients tell you? Absolutely. This is, this is the most fulfilling part of doing fixed teeth. Now, you're a dentist, though. Of course, it doesn't surprise me, and respectfully, I say, you probably think the smile is the most important thing. Randy, it's not me. <laughs> Look at all the surveys which are done. Cosmopolitan, women's health, men's health. Every single survey, one of the top three reasons what people find most attractive in their mate is the teeth, right? Okay, so it's not fair. me, it's not me, it's the people. Is the is the survey? All the research says teeth are important. Look at movies. If you want to look somewhere, if you want to make someone look bad, you pull out their front tooth. You make their tooth look bucky. You make their teeth look bad, right? That's a good your, point. Yeah. Your yeah. personality, ninety percent of it, your body is covered by clothes. Your face is right in the middle of it, and the teeth are in the middle of your face. So teeth are important. It's not just me. Teeth are important for everyone. So it's it's important. A smile is the number one thing when it comes to bringing out the uh, personality, bring out the most of, our, uh, of a person to, bring, uh, to get the most potential of someone. Someone doesn't get a job promotion because they have bad teeth, they're insecure about their smile, you know? Some people don't go out and socialize, so, so teeth are important. Now you, one of the me. things you mentioned, that like two people on a job interview, one person smiling, one person not smiling, who do you hire? And that's a good point. The person you smile, the person who smiles is always going to be more attractive, is always going to be more approachable than a person who's not smiling. Well, I mean, so you don't course. necessarily hire the one with a prettier smile, but if one is smiling, one isn't. You always you know, obviously are. that seems like you know the person that's positive and self confident. Confidence, it, it it brings the inner smile out of you. You know, it brings the confidence out of you. Uh, let me tell you a story. So I had this patient, Susan, right? Susan's six year old. Now she's been in her house all her life because she was taking care of her grandkids. It was unfortunate that she lost her kids at a young age, so she had to bring in those kids and take care of them. Now she came to my practice, she said like, I've taken care of my grandkids all my life, it's time to take care of myself. But I don't like my teeth and that's why I don't go out. And she had no teeth, she had no teeth, she was not wearing dentures because she did not like the palate, she would gag on it all the time. So just literally walking around with no teeth? No, no, no teeth for over old, 20 years. How old was she? She was 60 year old. Oh, wow. And for 20 years, she had no teeth. So she comes to my practice, we take a scan, and the day she walks out of my practice, she has fixed teeth, top, bottom, right? Wow. And then she comes for a follow-up visit, and, and I'm like, and, and she was so ecstatic. She's like, you've changed my life. I'm out dating, I'm going out with friends, I'm bowling, I've lost weight, I've lost 20 pounds of weight. So this is another important thing on a side note, that teeth are important for good diet. Because yeah, yeah, when, okay. when, when, you, when you have dentures or when you don't have any teeth, you can't eat food with fiber. You are eating more, more carbohydrates and more fat. So you don't get the nutrition which your body needs. So that's another thing. So she had lost 30 pounds after we gave the teeth, which she could eat good food with. It had good fiber content and she lost a lot of weight and then she was happy and completely different person. She's chatting more with my front desk, she's chatting more with my assistants, and, and, and a completely different person. You would never know that she's the same person I treated a few months ago who had come to my practice with no teeth. So it's life-changing. Susan, when, when you don't have teeth, her cheek was sunk in, her face was sunk in, right? So when she got teeth, 
right? She's looking 10, 15, 20 years younger because now she has teeth in mouth, her face looks more fuller, and now she gets compliment, one compliment. She's in a grocery store, someone's complimenting on her smile. She's in a restaurant, someone's complimenting on her side. In the airport, someone's complimenting <laughs> her side. So she's going all over the town, showing her teeth, smiling, she's happy. She's socializing. She's getting to lead the life she was supposed to, and, and teeth were holding her back. So teeth are important. Is this the future of dentistry? That means that dentures as we know them now, which rest on nothing, right? You think the future, whether it's 20 or 100 years, it, all dentures will be attached to something? That, like that, that, that will become standard of care at some point, absolutely. If they are not attached right now, it's a disservice to the patient. Patient need to get the implants to secure the dentures in place so they can get more function out of it, they can eat the food they want, okay. get, get more secure about their teeth, their smile, and they can go out and have a good time. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break. We come back, I wanna know about the dental implant process, what people can expect on day one. You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez, we'll be right back. I really enjoy the teeth and it's, it's got to the point where I can chew anything, you know, solids. Before I had a difficult time chewing solids and with a with a you know, plate, you know, but uh, with the pernament teeth, it's just like when I was a younger kid, you know. <laughs> so they're really impressive, <laughs> and they're very comfortable to eat just about anything, you know. Just I just feel like I was when I was younger. <laughs> I'm so happy with my new teeth. I have the full set, top and bottom. I had ten implants put in. They fixed my old. Uh, teeth so I'd have good teeth while I was waiting for the new ones and waiting for them to set up and I'm very very happy and I can eat an apple for the only time in my entire adult life. Yay! Oh, it's improved my eating tremendously. We have, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I can eat a lot of the foods that I used to could eat. I'm enjoying the steak again which is one of my favorite foods. <laughs> and uh, it's also given me a confidence because my teeth are all, um, they look nice. Um, so I enjoy that. You're watching the Wellness Hour News that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. We're here with Dr. Agarwal. We're talking about no more dentures. According to him, he says nobody should be wearing a loose fitting denture. And we're talking about replacing missing teeth with dental implants. Uh, Dr. Agarwal, welcome back. Um, lots of happy testimonials you have. Patients that put themselves on videos and write letters and give you reviews. You say it's the happiest group of patients, of Absolutely. all dental patients. <laughs> Absolutely, because it's changed their life. It's changed their life for good. Um, they love the new teeth. They are able to uh, eat the food they were not able to eat, like salad, broccoli, uh, back of the ribs. Uh, apple, carrots, you know, so, and socializing. The, these people like to go out, have a good time with friends, so it does help them have oh, a, have a, lead a good quality of life. Now, let's talk about options for dentures. In fact, the two categories. You've got one category where people with really bad teeth, you cannot save them. Full mouth of extractions, but they don't want dentures. Then the other group are the actual dentures. So if they go to your practice, if everything works out right, what are their options? So there are basically two categories. One is a snap in, snap on dentures. So what we do is we place about two to four dental implants on the lower jaw and four to six implants on the top and we secure the denture in place. It still comes in and out, but you don't have to use any adhesive, no denture glue, okay? And, and that's about half the cost yes, of the, of the other options. That's about okay. half the cost than getting fixed teeth in the mouth, but it works pretty much similar. Uh, the only thing is it still comes in and out so you can maintain them and uh, you can eat the food you like. So this is also a lesser cost alternative compared to the places which only give you one option. You don't have any other option where you only get fixed teeth. But now with snap and snap on dentures, you have the option of getting it done at ha less than half the cost than what a fixed tooth would cost. So these other places I think it's don't terrible. offer the snap and snap out. I think it's, it's terrible, saying. yes. I think it's terrible because it, that option should always be given to the patient because okay. not everyone can afford to get fixed teeth in mouth. They work great, but this is an option which would possibly fit their budget and okay. they can get it done. The second option, of course, is to get fixed teeth. Yeah, how many yeah. implants for that? So on the top, it's same four to six implants. On the bottom, we do four, six implants on the bottom. The teeth are secured in and place. And they get a full arch of teeth on full the Full arch of teeth, top, bottom, which functions just like your natural teeth. And they can eat whatever they want. They can eat whatever. I mean, whatever. literally, like nuts? <laughs> 
They can eat nuts, they can eat corn on the cob, they can eat apple, the same day we give the teeth. Do they ever call you and say, doctor, are you sure I can eat you know, corn or are you sure I can do this? All the time. So now what we do is when we give, when we deliver this teeth, we actually make them bite into an apple. So they believe that it is true. Because is I, had, right? I had a patient who did not eat hard foods at three months after I gave the fixed teeth to her and she, because she was afraid. She wore dentures all for 20 years and she could not eat hard food with that. So she could not believe that she can eat hard food. So she called three months later, she can, can I eat hard foods now? So that, that told me that I have to tell my patients that they can start eating the same Now when day. they're in your office and they're eating that, biting into that apple for the first time, are they scared? They are, they're absolutely scared because they don't believe that it's gonna happen. But when they do it, then they believe it. When they know that they can bite into an apple without the denture falling out from the back, they know that they can eat hard foods. And that is exactly why we do it. We have them bite into an apple while they're in the office. We are out of time. Final message to the two groups, the people with really bad teeth that you cannot save those teeth, or the person that's a denture wearer. Maybe they've heard what you have to say today, but for whatever reason, they're still skeptical or afraid. What do you say to them? Come in and find out the option. We offer free consultation. You know, you can you can even do financing when you come. You can find out the option, see what uh, what you can get, uh, if you can get your denture locked in place, or you can get fixed teeth. But unless and until you come into my office and let me take a look, you're not going to know whether you are going whether you have the option of getting teeth, whether you have diabetes, whether you have osteoporosis, whether you have whether you think you don't have enough bone. Don't self-diagnose. Come to the office, let me take a Good. look, and then we'll make a decision whether you can get the teeth or not. Don't decide on your own. And they're never left without teeth during no, this process. they are never without teeth in the whole process. That's a guarantee. Okay, good. I want to thank you for coming on the program. Oh, and we should mention, you say in your town, there's people that drive two hours away to, yeah. to get what you do right yes, there. Yes, that is true, because patients think that that's only one place who does it in the entire, entire um which is closer to them. And then when these patients find out that we did it, they feel bad because there are several trips with that to take to that place. And then if something goes wrong, then they have to take another two hour trip to go there. Whereas we are right there in the town where they can get things done faster, cheaper and better and get taken care of if something goes wrong right there. So they don't have to drive two hours. Okay, good. And by the way, you're in California taping this in our studio and you're at a dental implant seminar today. Right? Yes. Or this week? Uh, right. It's tomorrow. I go, it's four days. It's dental implants and sedation. We are, do, I, we are also going to be able to sedate patients starting next month. So that's another thing which are adding to our practice. Okay, good. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Good stuff. Thank you. You've been watching the Wellness Hour News that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.